something has to give. Dak Prescott will not sign a contract extension this offseason. He's going to play out the deal, which is crazy to think about. Because just a couple of months ago, before the season ended, Dak Prescott was one of the best quarterbacks in the NFL this season. And a lot of people thought that he was going to go out there and be one of the highest paid quarterbacks. That can happen after this upcoming season. But as it stands right now, he's going to play out this contract. Which, you ask the question, does Jerry Jones have that faith in Dak Prescott long term? Dak Prescott just got a contract extension a couple of years ago when he had that gruesome leg injury against the New York Giants. And this team has not been able to go out there and have the major playoff success. Dak Prescott and this team is 2-5 and five in the Dak Prescott era. Terrible. That's not good with the Dallas Cowboys. It's not good enough. This is a team that wants to go to the NFC Championship and possibly go to the Super Bowl and win the Super Bowl. Dak Prescott has not been the best quarterback in the postseason. In the regular season, he's been very good. The last year with Kellen Moore, he did throw a lot of interceptions, but this season was one of the best seasons in his career with Mike McCarthy. He had 36 passing touchdowns, 9 interceptions. That was the most passing touchdowns in the NFL. He also had 4,516 passing yards. That was the third most in the NFL as well. So I look at a guy like Dak Prescott. Something has to give. Right now, he has the Kirk Cousins going on here. Very good regular season quarterback in the playoffs. Hasn't looked as good. Now, the lack of playoff success is not all on Dak Prescott because his defense gets ran over like there's no tomorrow when they're dealing with the Dan Quinn system. Now they're bringing in a brand new defensive coordinator and Mike Zimmer. And this is a team that needs a lot of patch-up work. They need to go out there and get a true running back with this team that can get you three to four tough contact yards, similar to what Ezekiel Elliott used to do. Tony Pollard is no longer with this roster. He is now with the Tennessee Titans. But you look at the weapons that they have on the perimeter. You have Brandon Cooks. Very good number two wide receiver. You have C.D. Lamb, who was one of the best wide receivers in the NFL. Now, Jerry Jones is pushing this back. You could be hurting yourself because C.D. Lamb was first in receptions. He had 1,749 receiving yards. That was the second most in the NFL in receiving yards. And 12 receiving touchdowns, third most in the NFL. So you know when it's time to pay him, he's going to get paid like a true number one wide receiver. If Dak Prescott and this team can go out there and make a deep playoff run, you're going to be paying Dak Prescott top quarterback money even more next season than he would have gotten paid this offseason. That's what the dangers are when you push the can down the road if they can get better in that situation. Then you will also have to go out there and pay Michael Parsons as well. So this team, by kicking the can down the road, you're basically hurting yourself if Dak Prescott can go out there and have another great season. Or Dak Prescott can walk away to a different team. If they do not have major playoff success, Dak Prescott will no longer be a Dallas Cowboy after this up, upcoming season. Because at that point, you're 2-5. and five, You can't get past the divisional round. Something is wrong. And it's not all on Dak Prescott. It's not all on the players. Jerry Jones has not done the best in terms of putting pressure on these guys to go out there and win these big football games. When they beat the Washington Commanders on Thanksgiving Day, he said it was one of the best games he's ever seen, one of the best days of his life. Really overwinning the Super Bowls that you won in the 90s? And Jerry Jones is trying to bring that same magic back that he had in the 90s back over, but it's not working. This is a team that is known to build through the NFL draft and not do much in free agency. Now, they did go out there. They traded for Stephon Gilmore. Solid corner, but he was not the same Stephon Gilmore. Right now, he remains a free agent. They did go out there and they traded for Brandon Cooks. But in terms of spending money, they have not done that. It's the broken promises that he continues to make to Dallas Cowboy fans. He came out before the offseason started. We're all in. We're going to do this and that. You haven't done anything. You signed a very good linebacker that could go out there and tackle. And Eric Kendricks. And the only reason you signed Eric Kendricks is because Leighton Van Der Esch had to retire due to neck injuries. And Leighton Van Der Esch was a very good linebacker with this team. Couldn't stay healthy. Eric Kendricks will come in. He'll fit the system with Mike Zimmer. He's a former Minnesota Viking. He played in that defense. Besides that, they have not went out there and they have not signed major free agents. They've set on their hand. You lost your starting center. You lost Tyron Smith. Now, Tyron Smith has not played a full season in almost nine years. I fully understand that, but he was still a very good tackle with this team. Your center was a very good center with this team. You lose him. Now you have Brock Huffman at their center spot. We'll see if he can be good. Tyler Smith can play guard. He can play tackle. Zach Martin is still a top guard in the NFL. Terrence still is still a top tackle in the NFL. The reason why I'm coming going here and I'm getting on Jerry Jones about the all-in come in, I understand that you have to go out there and pay CeeDee Lamb, have to pay Dak Prescott and Michael Parsons. If you knew 
then that you're not going to pay Dak Prescott just yet. Load the roster up. Kick the can down the road. Then you can talk about that in the future. If you want to truly go all in, you go and talk to some of the big free agents that can come in and help out your team. And I agree with them not going out there and overspending for a position that they already have solidified in this team. It makes zero sense to go out there and try to get another wide receiver. You have Brandon Cush, you have CeeDee Lamb, you have Jake Ferguson, who's a star tight end. He's going to continue to get better, by the way. But go out there and try to talk to a running back like a Derrick Henry. Instead, you offer him this cheap deal. He goes to the Baltimore Ravens. And now you look at the running backs of this team. Everyone knows you're going to have to draft a running back in the second or third round. You have to get a true power back with this team. Deuce Vaughn is not a true every down back. Rico is solid, but he's not a true every down back. Tony Pollard had over a thousand yards rushing, but he did not have the same impact as Ezekiel Elliott. You can come in, you can possibly bring in Ezekiel Elliott, but he's not the same Ezekiel Elliott from a couple years ago. It's the reason why you cut him. You moved off of him because he was giving you the same production. So the all-in comment looks very stupid now. It was stupid then. It's stupid now. I've Always come on here year after year and say the Dallas Cowboys are a talented regular season team. They are a threat to be dealt with in the regular season. But as soon as the postseason comes, I'm the first guy on here to say they're going to be out in the wild card. They're going to be out in the vision round because they don't have what it takes to get over the hump. Whether it's Mike McCarthy as head coach, whether it's Jason Garrett as head coach, none of that matters. Because at the end of the day, they report to one man, and that's Jerry Jones. And I'm not getting on him and saying that he's making a major mistake by not paying Dak Prescott. I fully understand it. But it's the pressure and the expectation that he puts on these players every single year. They get treated like rock stars, but they're stuck in mediocrity. This team has not had a Super Bowl appearance in many decades, but yet they always get talked about like they're one of the better franchises in the recent two to three decades. They always do. Since then, we've seen the Patriots have dynasties. We've seen. The Chiefs take over the NFL, and the Dallas Cowboys, they have the players. They just don't have the right culture with the team. You heard what Dalton Schultz said about the Dallas Cowboys. He said there was like a zoo in there, all the bright lights, all this. They were not focused about football enough. It was about the glitz and the glamour with this team. And it makes zero sense. It's one of those things to where you can bring in a brand new coach here, bring in a brand new coach there. They were talked about bringing in Bill Belichick. I love the fact that they, that they didn't do that. Because Bill Belichick not be able to work with Jerry Jones, which is another reason to why this team would not have much success because Jerry Jones is still the owner. No matter who the coach is, Jerry Jones will always try to dictate every single thing. In the last couple of years, it hasn't worked. It's not going to work now. We have seen this Cowboys team have talented players. DeMarco Murray, one of the best offensive lines in the NFL at the time. Tony Romo, Dez Bryant, failure. We could talk about the catch against the Packers at the end of the day. Failure. You bring in a star in Dak Prescott, Ezekiel Elliott, that rookie season was phenomenal. They took over the NFL. They failed in the playoffs. They've tried everything. It's the culture that's broken with this team. And I think the Dallas Cowboys, tremendous talent. But as a team, they're broken and they're stuck in mediocrity because of Jerry Jones. And some people may not understand what I'm saying. How can you blame my owner for this and owner for that? If he's going out there and he's hiring the guys, he's not coaching. He is in charge of roster decisions. The coaches don't get that much say so. The coaches do not get the opportunity to go out there and make the change that they want to make without having to run it by Jerry Jones. And by the time that is in certain situations, by the time you have to go out there and make those certain moves, other teams are already pounced on those moves. Being cheap and free agency is caught up to this team by not bringing in those players. Jerry Jones is looking for a guy like Deion Sanders in free agency. It's not the 90s anymore. It is rare that you're going to see a top value player that can be that much of a game changer being free agency this type in this type of the NFL. You're not going to find that. And if Dak Prescott does walk away after next season, I hope that the Dallas Cowboys will have another option there because Trey Lance is very interesting that's a guy you just traded for from the san francisco 49ers he doesn't have those many rests he's been standing behind Dak prescott maybe mike mccarthy's been developing him so he could take over next season if Dak prescott's not the guy but 36 passing touchdowns nine interceptions those are very good numbers making the playoffs it's very good but unfortunately that's not good enough for the dallas cowboys you're bringing in a brand new defensive coordinator because Dan Quinn was going to stay with the team if he did not have the Washington Commanders job. Now he's the coach of the Washington Commanders. I think their defense would be better because of that. 
Their defense is already good this season. They're very good against the quarterback. They need to get bigger on defense. They're too small. That's the problem. The Green Bay Packers ran all over them. The San Francisco 49ers ran all over them. They need to go out there and they need to get bigger. Getting a guy like Eric Kendricks, I love that move. And I understand what you're going to say. Against the San Francisco 49ers this season, we shut down Christian McCaffrey. You couldn't cover George Kittle because you sold out on the run game. Get bigger defensively. And you can still have those fast players in the secondary. Trayvon Diggs did miss majority of the season. Dealing with a torn ACL. He can come back. He's going to be phenomenal. Deron Bland is a pick six goon. Both of those guys in cornerback spot. You're going to be in a great situation. You're bringing in Eric Kendricks. Very good linebacker. I love his game. You have Micah Parsons. I do think that Micah Parsons is a good defensive player. But he's not in the same conversation with guys like TJ White and Miles Garrett as a true pass rusher. And I like Micah Parsons a lot. But Michael Parsons is an overrated pass rusher because everyone makes it seem like this man is just a top five pass rusher. He's not. He's a very versatile defensive piece and he needs to go out there and get another playmate. Then next thing you know, he can really pop off. If they can find another guy that can can get consistent pressure on the quarterback besides him, they'll be in a great situation. But that's easier said than done. DeMarcus Lawrence is a very good run stopper. But we all know at this stage of his career, he's not going to go out there and get eight plus sacks in a season. So your main sack guy is Micah Parsons. And when the when offensive coordinators game plan for him, it is hard for this defense to get going. When he can't get pressure, the entire defense is different. It's not the same. We saw it against the Green Bay Packers. We've seen it against the San Francisco 49ers. We also saw some of it against the Detroit Lions as well. Like I mentioned before, they have good players. But as a team, they're just not there. Something is off and it's just not connected. But let me know in the comment section below, how do you guys feel about Dak Prescott not signing a contract extension this season? Is it a smart thing for Dallas Cowboys? Is it a smart thing for Jerry Jones? If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. If you like the video, hit the like button. Most importantly, when each and every last, Wayne, guys, stay safe, stay positive. Thanks for watching the video, guys. God bless. Peace.